I'm Mike, this is Nick, and we're from Uptake, and we're here to talk about the recently disclosed cyber attacks against critical infrastructure in the United States. Nick, you've studied these attacks. What can you share with us? So what we know um, from the latest report from US CERT and combined with the FBI is that Russia infiltrated a unknown um, US entity around the energy sector. They ran a phishing attack, just like most people have seen. Someone clicked on a link, downloaded some malware, the malware ran on their system, they were able to, the Russians were then able to explore that environment and found their way to some ICS controls, so industrial control systems. Using some cameras within that facility, they were able to take high-res photos of some of the equipment, and then they learned, presumably were to take that and learn more for a forthcoming attack, um, sort of a research initiative on their part inside that environment. Yeah. And I think what's interesting about this is that this is not new. This has been going on for years. What is new is the alert that was issued by the FBI earlier today. And so I think that speaks to, one, the political situation that's going on, certainly um, in the world today, between the Russian government and the U.S. government. Um, and this is Russia's way, I think, of poking at the U.S. government. And also, I think, number two, it does highlight the fact that utilities are generally uh, unprepared for these types of activities. Um, so I think they're very intertwined into the economy, delivering basic services that we count on every day, but at the same time, they're not exactly the first adopters when it comes to trying to protect the, these environments, which, by the way, span for you know, uh, hundreds of miles in many cases. Historically, many in the energy sector or even large industrial businesses, their, their saving grace was that the operational environments were completely segmented from the IT environments. So the places where most of us work every single day, like on email and our phones and our tablets, the, those environments were separate from the industrial environments. Now that's changing. Many organizations, whether it's from manufacturing to other industrial sectors, including the energy sector, mm -hmm. those environments are slowly getting combined together, which creates all different problems. So the same type of malware or same type of attacks that you may see against IT systems, now the ability to bleed over and give those attackers not, ac not only access to intellectual property and data and maybe financial systems, but also give them the same opportunity to attack critical infrastructure as well. This is Nick. I'm Mike. Thanks for watching.